بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر سٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس بچرر ریکشن وچ از ایکچولی اباؤٹ دا کنورجن آف این الکول انٹو امین اینڈ اسپیشلی دا کنورجن آف آر نیفتھول انٹو نیفتھائل امین اینڈ آلسو ان ریورسیبل مینر دیٹ از ان دا سملر کنڈیشنز ود امائنوٹ چینجز وی کین کنورٹ نیفتھول انٹو نیفتھائل امین اینڈ آلسو نیفتھائل امین انٹو بیک انٹو نیفتھول Uh, the key concepts uh, for today's lecture are uh, introduction to bachelor reaction then uh, reaction of naphthose with uh, aryl or phenyl hydrazine then the mechanism of 2-nephthole uh, for the conversion of 2-nephthole uh, nephthole to 2-nephthylamine then 1-nephthole to 1-nephthylamine then some step-by-step -step discussion and uh, also the synthesis of carbazoles which is related to the reaction of naphthose with hydrazine and in the end there will be a summary for the synthetic application of this reaction in 1898 uh, Lepetit was the first uh, to discover this reaction uh, but he de did explain it uh, in a very broad banner or uh, in a deeply way but in 1904 Butcherer independently worked on this reaction and uh, completely describes the mechanism the formation the conditions of this reaction in from naphthol to naphthylamine and then back from naphthylamine to naphthol so this reaction is uh, known as Butcherer reaction or sometimes called Butcherer lepidate reaction also but mostly generally it is known as Bush reaction uh, so Bush reaction is the reversible conversion of naphthylamine to naphthol in the presence of an aqueous sulfite or bisulfite sulfite mean like the mostly use is ammonium ammonia along with ammonium sulfite or uh, ammonia along with sodium bisulfite uh, Nephthols are converted into naphthylamine by the reaction with ammonia in the presence of sodium bisulfite or ammonium sulfate and uh, naphthylamines are converted back into naphthols by the reaction with water uh, in the presence of sodium bisulfite here you can see the reaction naphthol is going into naphthylamine on reaction with ammonia and sodium bisulfite and naphthylamine is going into naphthol on reaction with water and sodium bisulfite uh, in the last lectures uh, you know we have discussed about the uh, conversion of naphthols into primary amine then secondary amine uh, by reaction with simple amine ammonia to form primary amine and with uh, sim alkyl amine or aryl amine to form the secondary amine uh, today we are going to discuss uh, the reaction of naphthols with the hydrazine uh, substituents uh, simple hydrazine and then we shall discuss uh, with the substituted hydrazine with simple hydrazine uh, the reactions are known to occur also in the similar condition just like that of ammonia that is a uh, hydrazine sulfite and hydrazines a uh, mixture of hydrazine and hydrazine sulfite as a reactant are used to convert uh, naphthol alpha naphthol and also beta naphthol into corresponding naphthyl hydrazine uh, but uh, the conversion of dihydroxy naphthalene that is 2,7 or uh, 2,3 in case of 2,7 uh, dihydroxy naphthalene there was two types of product one was with one more uh, substituted hydrazine that is one hydroxy remains intact and the other hydroxy is converted uh, into hydrazine moiety uh, and with the side product of uh, dihydrazine that is both of the hydroxy group are converted into hydrazine moiety but the yield of mono substituted is 82 percent and the yield of uh, this di substitution is uh, less than 20 percent it means the main product was mono substituted in case of uh, two 
three dihydroxy that is two hydroxy present at the adjacent position the the full conversion was there with the dihydrazine product there was no mono substitution but only the di substitution but the yield was too low as compared to that of 27 dihydroxy that is it was only 57% Uh, as we discussed uh, in the last uh, lecture for the different uh, regions different alcohols which can be converted uh, from alcohol to amine it included the resorcinol also and this uh, resorcinol is also uh, converted into the hydrazine product in the similar fashion in addition to this uh, resorcinol the other regions which uh, are you which were used in the last case of uh, reaction with amine to form simple amine but on reaction with hydrazine these regions that is pyro catechol hydroquinone salicylic acid these are uh, regions are not known to react with hydrazine to form the product but uh, as uh, uh, we have discussed uh, that the hydroquinone was present as a reactant in the reaction with simple amine to form the naphthyl amine from naphthol uh, the reaction of the substituted hydrazine that is phenyl hydrazine or aryl hydrazine has also been uh, studied for the reaction with naphthols to form the product but here is the different thing which uh, was observed as compared to that of simple hydrazine because the simple hydrazine gives the product uh, uh, in which hydroxy group is simply substituted by the hydrazine moiety and that's it but uh, in case of uh, phenyl or aryl hydrazines there was a series of reactions which uh, started after the uh, formation of phenyl hydrazine adduct with the hydroxy compound that is the first uh, is the similar step that hydroxy group is uh, substituted with phenyl hydrazine but after that a number of steps uh, moves and we get the final pro product of a cyclized heterocyclic ring of five member that is known as carbazole and here if we use the phenyl hydrazine uh, reaction with two hydroxy three naphthoic acid we get the product uh, with 75% yield of 5,6 benzo carbazole although this uh, carboxyl group substituted uh, to naphthol uh, give the product but this ra rate of reaction of this uh, uh, moiety is less as compared to that of simply unsubstituted naphthol also the yield was not too much uh, similar fashion in the similar fashion the reaction uh, product can be observed for the para tolyl hydrazine that is aryl hydrazine gives the same pro similar type of product of carbazole uh, naphthyl hydrazines uh, can also be used for the formation of the product of uh, carbazole uh, but here the way of uh, reaction is known to involve the first uh, uh, removal of hydrazine from naphthyl to form uh, naphthol and then this naphthol is uh, reacted with the other molecule of naphthyl hydrazine to form the product of carbazole Uh, first is one naphthyl hydrazine is known to form the one two seven eight di benzo carbazole. Here you can see the structure of one two seven and numbering is also given for the ease of uh, the understanding of this nomenclature one two seven eight di benzo carbazole. Uh, similarly, two naphthyl hydrazine uh, reacts to form three four five six di benzo carbazole. Uh, the two hydroxy naphthoic acid also directly react with two naphthyl uh, hydrazine and uh, we get uh, the product of 3 4 5 6 dibenzo carbazole similar fashion that is two naphthyl hydrazine reacts with itself or two hydroxy uh, naphthoic acid is directly reacted with naphthyl uh, two naphthyl hydrazine we get the similar product also one naphthyl hydrazine can condense easily with two hydroxy three naphthoic acid to form a 2 4 5 6 dibenzo carbazole so the nature of the reacting species hydrazine and naphthol uh, defines the uh, nature of the product of the carbazole 
uh, the substituted uh, naphthylamines as we have discussed the substituted with carboxyl group are substituted with sulfonic acid group also react uh, with the uh, corresponding naphthol sulfonic acids and uh, we get the product of a carbazole 1 2 benzo carbazole uh, in conclusion we can say that the reaction of uh, hydrazine with naphthol or naphthylamine is too reactive or uh, reacts in very low conditions uh, as compared to that of the reaction of uh, naphthol or naphthylamine with uh, some uh, amine or some secondary uh, primary amine uh, this thing can be explained in this way with this uh, example that the 2 naphthol 3 6 disulfonic acid which do not uh, uh, it does not react with the amines in the presence of bisulfite simple amines but here uh, and the reason was uh, for the less reactivity was the hindering effect of this uh, sulfonic acid group but here in case of phenyl hydrazine it reacts very easily in the similar conditions and form of carboxyl so this thing explains that the high reactivity of the hydrazine or uh, phenyl or allyl hydrazine towards the naphthols or naphthyl amines. Uh, here is the overall reaction uh, which is given for the conversion of 2 naphthol to 2 naphthyl amine. Here 2 naphthol is converted into uh, naphthyl amine by the use of ammonia and ammonium sulfate. First, uh, you can see that first step there is a H plus ion which is uh, from the ammonium of uh, ammonium sulfate. This uh, interacts with this uh, uh, alpha uh, beta naphthol and we get a keto form. Next, uh, the ammonium sulfate acting as a nucleophile well attacks on the carbon with the double bond and the double bond moves towards the carbonyl moiety and it, uh, it is converted into again into OH group and we get the, an addition uh, product or a, an adduct of ammonium sulfate and this beta naphthol. In the next manner it uh, is protonated and we get uh, a amino group uh, uh, after tautomerization we get a uh, ketone moiety along with the ammonium sulfi uh, sulfite. This ammonium sulfite uh, duct is uh, treated with the ammonia as a nucleophile which attacks on the carbonyl carbon and uh, oxy CO bond is uh, converted into single bond and it uh, further attaches with the hydrogen and we get the product in which uh, at the similar position that is geminal position amino and hydroxy groups are present. Uh, this amino and uh, hydroxy uh, bearing uh, moiety is again protonated to remove OH in the form of water and we get the double bond at the adjacent carbon uh, which is uh, away from the uh, uh, which is on the other side of the ammonium sulfide moiety and we get double bond with the amino group in the next manner the hydrogen is removed from this uh, adjacent carbon of ammonium sulfide and we uh, easily get the ammonium bisulfide as a byproduct and the uh, naphthalene amine as the main product we shall discuss uh, each step in uh, detail uh, on the next slides Uh, here is the general mechanism for the conversion of 1 naphthol to 1 naphthylamines. Uh, this reaction, general reaction is given with respect to sodium bisulfide. Here you can see the uh, first reaction of alpha naphthol with sodium bisulfide uh, with an addition adduct here. Are some steps are removed uh, in general mechanism which will be discussed in the step by step mechanism. That first uh, in the similar fashion as we discussed for the 2 naphthol the first step is to make the tautomer product and that tautomer is uh, uh, reacted with the sodium bi bisulfide as a uh, nucleophile and we get sodium sulfide adduct uh, in the next manner uh, ammonia or uh, primary amines um, acting as a nucleophile attacks on this carbonyl carbon and we get the hydroxy uh, substituted product and this hydroxy after protonation is removed as a water and we get the 
product uh, like this which on uh, further uh, tautomerization we get the product uh, like NHR and after the removal of sodium bisulfide we get the final uh, product of uh, naphthyl amine that is primary amine or secondary amine. So this is the overall action uh, for the conversion of alpha naphthol to alpha naphthyl amine. Both of the mechanisms of 1 naphthol and 2 naphthol are just similar uh, with exception of a few points uh, which we will uh, discuss here uh, on the next slides. Uh, here is the complete uh, mech uh, mechanism in step by step ways. Uh, first is the we discuss the first step of the addition of sodium bisulfide to two naphthol. Here you can see the arrows uh, direction of arrows. First the lone pair of hydroxy group moves towards the carbon making it double bond and the carbon carbon double bond is broken and moves towards the carbon at alpha position to this hydroxy group and this uh, acting as a nucleophile attacks on the proton of sodium bisulfide and obstruct it from sodium bisulfide making it a nucleophile of sodium sulfide and we get the product in which uh, alpha carbon bears two proton double bond has been removed and the new double bond is created between carbon and oxygen here the carbon sp2 hybridized character of this carbon along with oxygen make it a good uh, nucleophilic in nature also and uh, the sodium bisulfide duct here uh, due to presence of uh, conjugating structures or resonance attacks on the this carbon at third position or you can say beta position or to this hydroxy group and we get this hydroxy. This uh, substitution may be because of the steric hindrance of the, such a large nucleophile that it attacks on this beta carbon and uh, in, uh, beta position or to this hydroxy group. Double bond moves towards the carbon, next uh, carbon carbon uh, single bond making it double bond and we get the product in which sodium bisulfide has been added to this uh, nucleus of naphthalene but at the third position that is as a relationship with the hydroxy group as 1 3 uh, similar steps can be explained with the respect to ammonium sulfate sulfite instead of sodium bisulfide in case of ammonium sulfite where you can see the structure of ammonium sulfide in which two ammonium groups are present on the two o, o minus ions of uh, sulfite uh, one of the ammonium ion is uh, opened in this way that NH3 group and hydrogen is shown uh, in separate way uh, so that we can explain the similar attack that is a lone pair of oxygen moving towards the carbon making double bond carbon carbon double bond is broken and carbon at uh, alpha position or second position is going to attack and the proton of this ammonium ion and making the product byproduct of ammonia and ammonium sulfite as nucleophile. In the similar fashion ammonium sulfide acting as a nucleophile attacks on the third position to the hydroxy group and uh, double bond moving towards next carbon and we get the products uh, which is just like that of sodium sulfite addition duct and this is ammonium sulfide addition duct. Uh, here is the case of 1 naphthol uh, addition of sodium bisulfide to 1 naphthol. Uh, here you can see the movement of lone pair of uh, oxygen towards the carbon making it double bond and the carbon carbon double bond is resonated towards the next carbon carbon single bond making it double bond and the next carbon carbon double bond is moved towards carbon making it a carbonyl uh, negative as a nucleophile which abstracts the proton from sodium bisulfide and gets the two proton at this position. Next to the sodium bisulfide uh, sodium sulfide acting as a nucleophile attacks on this carbon at third position and the carbon carbon double bond moves towards the next carbon carbon single bond and the double bond of carbon and oxygen of hydroxy is converted into single bond uh, the, and the, we get the final product in the similar fashion as we have discussed for the 2 naphthol here is the uh, similar uh, product for the 1 naphthol one question is uh, here that uh, why in like that of 2 naphthol why the proton of the alpha position that is second position to the hydroxy group did not 
Vajna uh, uh, obstructed or you can say why this carbon at second position to hydroxy group did uh, uh, attack as a nickel on the proton or sodium bisulfide as that in case of 2 naphthol. Here is the two uh, sim, uh, cases for this. Uh, first is uh, described which we have discussed uh, here that the proton is abstract uh, the carbon as the fourth position of this hydroxy group act as a nucleophile and attacks on the proton and we get the two proton at the fourth position to this hydroxy group. If this is uh, uh, converted into its resonating structures you can see here three resonating structures uh, are you uh, first is with the OH group with a positive charge second is the carbon with positive charge and uh, you know this is less stable as compared to that of uh, carbon oxygen double bond positive charge uh, why is it so because in this uh, resonating structure the Lewis structure or Lewis uh, uh, formality of all the com carbon atoms has been fulfilled that oxygen uh, has com complete octet and carbon has also complete octet but in the next case where you are showing the positive charge on the carbon and the carbon carbon uh, oxygen bond has been converted into single bond then the octet of oxygen is fulfilled but the octet of carbon is not fulfilled uh, next the resonating structure of this uh, uh, moiety is uh, like this the double bond moves towards this uh, carbon uh, containing a positive charge and the positive charge moves towards the third position at that end we get only two resonating structures here or you can see three resonating structures first uh, with the oxygen uh, positive charge and oxygen and two next uh, in which positive charge is resonating on the carbons three overall three resonating structures but if this attack was on the second position of the uh, this hydroxy group that uh, oxygen moves towards uh, lone pair oxygen moves towards carbon making double bond and then the double bond moves towards the carbon and this carbon attacks on the proton abstracts proton from the sodium uh, bisulfide then we get this uh, type of product in which uh, carbon uh, uh, at the second position is bearing two hydrogens and the carbon oxygen double bond uh, with oxygen positive charge on oxygen if you uh, resonate this structure we get the another structure only that is uh, at the position of carbon uh, uh, car at the position of carbon double bond and the uh, next is on the hydroxy uh, with uh, without uh, carbon uh, or double uh, positive charge on the oxygen here is the point uh, you can say why this positive charge is not resonating towards the other benzene it can resonate in this case and it was also able to resonate in the upper case which we have discussed in actual practice so due to similarity of this uh, ring I have not discussed uh, the resona uh, resonating structures on this side of the benzene ring although they are present these resonating structures but the difference was uh, on the this side here that this uh, second case has only one uh, positive charge and uh, but the first case which we have discussed actually in our uh, mechanism that we get two one resonating structure more for this moiety so this is more stable and uh, the so uh, therefore the reaction takes place in this way which we have explained uh, in the second step it is the addition of ammonia to naphthol uh, and uh, sodium bisulfite adduct uh, the naphthol, uh, two naphthol and sodium bisulfide adduct was previously prepared in the first step. Uh, here you can see the first conversion, uh, first step uh, is the tautomerization process in which this enol uh, is converted into a keto form. The conversion enol is explained through the charges given on partial negative charge on oxygen, partial positive charge on hydrogen, and in the similar way, partial negative charge on uh, uh, the carbon next to the hydroxy group uh, is partial uh, the 
carbon to which hydroxy group is attached is partial positive charge and the next carbon is partial negative charge when the lone pair of oxygen moves towards the carbon making double bond the double bond moves towards the carbon bearing partial negative charge as a nucleophile which obstructs proton from this hydroxy and double bond is converted into single bond but the uh, oh group hydroxy group is converted into keto group in this way this keto uh, carbon of this keto group becomes a uh, partial uh, po more uh, electropositive in character and this uh, ammonia acting as a nucleophile can attack on it and making the carbon oxygen double bond as a single bond and we get the negative charge on oxygen this oxygen get obstructs a proton from the nearly attached ammonium and we get the hydroxy group and amino group on the germinal positions in the next step the hydroxy group uh, lone pair of hydroxy abstracts proton uh, at the alpha position or nearly uh, at vicinal position and uh, the similar way at the same time the carbon proton two electrons move towards the carbon carbon single bond to making uh, make it double bond and the carbon oxygen single bond move towards the OH uh, to uh, for the removal of water so we get the product of water as a byproduct and the main product is uh, the sodium bisulfide adduct with amino group now uh, in the next step this amino group uh, moved uh, in such a way that first the uh, uh, the structure of uh, sodium bisulfide is open in such a way that the lone pair of uh, cell S double bond O is attacking on the hydrogen at the same time carbon hydrogen two electrons are moving towards the carbon carbon single bond making it double bond and the carbon oxygen sing, uh, two electrons are moving towards the sulfur oxygen two electron making it double bond and we get the product of sodium bisulfite which is removed at the end that is it is act, uh, acting as a catalyst and the final product is the 2 nephthyl amine As we discussed uh, previously that the reaction of uh, alpha naphthol or beta naphthol with the amines or primary amines result into the uh, primary amines or secondary amines respectively. But the reaction of uh, 2 naphthol or 1 naphthol with phenyl hydrazine or aryl hydrazine moves towards a number of further steps and we get the final product of carbazole. Here is the mechanism for the carbazole formation from 2 naphthol with phenyl hydrazine. First step uh, is not explained here, which we have discussed uh, for the conversion of 2 naphthol into uh, naphthyl amine. Uh, that is similar here that phenyl hydrazine reacts with uh, 2 naphthol in the presence of sodium bisulfide to form the addition product. But in the next step, when we protonate this moiety, two protons are uh, taken by this moiety and we get the NH, two NH groups into two NH2 group, amino, two ammonium groups. This uh, acidification can be with the help of HCl. In the next step, here you can see the carbon-carbon double bond of lower naphthalene ring is moving towards the carbon-nitrogen uh, single bond, making it double bond and then the nitrogen nitrogen single bond is broken and uh, moving towards the next phenyl uh, carbon of phenyl group and nitrogen and making it double bond and the carbon carbon double bond of phenyl group is moving towards this uh, naphthalene ring and a single bond is created between these two benzene rings uh, next in the next step uh, this proton present at this uh, the ad adjacent or this the at the connection of these two benzene rings uh, that is uh, the carbon of naphthalene ring benzene ring from naphthalene this proton is has been obstructed by that uh, acidic moiety or the nucleophile of the acid and the carbon hydrogen two electrons move towards the carbon carbon uh, single bond making it double bond and the carbon nitrogen double bond is broken and this nucleophile acts as a uh, acting uh, this nitrogen acting as a nucleophile attacks on the other carbon nitrogen double bond 
attacks on the carbon which ha bears electrophilic character and it is further attached to, to nitrogen with through double bond and we get the product of a five membered ring in which nitrogen NH2 plus bears positive charge and the other carbon bears ammonium in the next step again protonation occurs and the NH2 group is protonated to NH3 plus uh, the other uh, the first NH2 plus is already protonated so it cannot be further protonated only the NH2 simple having lone pair is protonated into NH3 plus now the proton is abstracted from this phenyl uh, carbon of the phenyl ring and uh, the carbon or hydrogen double bond uh, two electrons of carbon hydrogen bond are moving towards the carbon carbon single bond making a double bond and amino uh, group is removed in the form of ammonia which is further uh, uh, you can see uh, removed or uh, uh, given to us by the this uh, moiety in the form of ammonium because uh, the acid is present there and this acid will convert this ammonia into ammonium in the next step uh, this uh, moiety of uh, five member ring in which NH2 group is bearing positive charge here proton is also abstracted uh, during work up by the use of a, an, uh, of a base and we get the final product of carbosol so this is the overall mechanism for the formation of carbosol from naphthol uh, and uh, phenyl hydrazine. Uh, in the end, here are some synthetic applications of this uh, Bachelor reaction. First is the synthesis of naphthylamines uh, derivatives from naphthols. Second is the synthesis of naphthol derivatives from naphthylamines. Uh, third is the synthesis of secondary amine derivatives from naphthols or naphthylamines. Uh, fourth one is the synthesis of carbazole derivatives from naphthol or naphthylamines by use by the use of phenyl or aryl hydrazine. Uh, this uh, reaction has uh, vast application uh, in the field of industrial chemistry uh, because uh, the useful derivatives have been used uh, as intermediates for the different dyes, and these intermediates have been prepared uh, through this uh, butcher reaction. So this reaction as well uh, is uh, very important in the field of uh, synthetic chemistry or uh, uh, industrial chemistry also and uh, we can prepare different molecules, uh, different derivatives of uh, naphthylamines and so on uh, to uh, verify or to check their importance in the medicinal chemistry also for the use of these molecules as uh, new drug uh, candidates or new drug molecules for the different diseases uh, so this is all about of today's uh, uh, lecture and we have completed this butcher reaction uh, uh, in the these two lectures and thanks